Hello guys, I'm Cover News all the way from down, and it's pretty much going to be a commentary of which games I'm going to expand to. Now, if you've been living under a rock, Combat Arms is a sinking ship. It's Titanic times 10. It's going to go down sooner or later. Nexon's been knowing nothing about the lag, nothing about the hackers, just adding new useless stuff that no one really cares about. Ti um, Combat Arms is the Titanic. It's going to die sometime soon. So, I'm going to have to prepare for the worst, and hopefully expand to multiple of games expand my vocabulary of games that I do on YouTube now at the moment I've just done combat arms that's all I've been doing I might have chucked in the TF2 or COD somewhere but combat arms has been my main game and that's the problem that's where it lies I've only had one game meaning there's only real a few things I can talk about in that game every so while so let's say every month I do the latest news I can talk about that that's no problem but mid term I can talk about the midterm patch and stuff like that but I can't really talk about the game just in the middle of nowhere I've got like my road the mask I've got the YouTubes I use but pretty much that's not gonna su su suffice me enough like I can't do them every 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 day a road to mask a, a YouTubes I use it's just not gonna work they have to be spread out once a week twice a week or something like that but in between now I need something else I can do because combat arms it just haven't it just hasn't got enough options this um the pretty much make enough commentaries the last week so I'm thinking expand the other games make my life a bit easier and hopefully you can see some different content now I want to do a multiple games I don't want to do too many though so I get swarmed and I think oh I've got to do a commentary on that ah, this, this 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 it's just gonna be too much I just want a few about four or five games maybe three four I'm not hundred percent sure of games that I can do so when combat arms are down when combat arms are, isn't nothing to talk about I can go to these games and just have fun talking about them and stuff and these games probably I'll play more than combat arms because combat arms isn't a good game or the hackers and stuff it just isn't entertaining yes I played it for so long and I know what to do but just these other games just much more entertaining than comp dumbs generally now I want game I want to do games that you guys will watch as well I don't want to do games where only a hundred people will view it and I've got a thousand subscribers when I went which when I do combat arms I get like 700 views you know that kind of difference is not good motivation so I'm gonna make I would make less of that so I want to do games that you guys will watch so I got a couple of games I'm just gonna shout them at you and pretty much if you like them just go post it in the comments yeah I want this yeah I want this yeah I want this and it'll be all good and if you got any other games just make sure you put them in the description I'll be 100% sure just check that out the game and if it's good I'll go play it maybe do let's play or something on that game you never know so the first one's Battlefield 3. Now I bought this game online for 30 bucks. That reminds me I'm going to make a tutorial on how to get really, really cheap PC games. Like, don't have to pay $90 and store. I got Battlefield 3 for 30 bucks. Unbelievably cheap. Really, really good. And I've been playing that for like the last two games. Having, having lots of lots of fun. And pretty much it's just one of my most favourite games at the moment. Even though I've played a couple of games that to drop shot. But I've been just playing by myself generally. It's still just a fun game even by yourself if I had a team oh my god that would be so much more fun so if you want to add me one authority on origin so that's one option Battlefield 3 and if you want to do that I'll 100% do that because that's one game I really really want to do but if you guys don't want it I'll still do maybe put up once or twice a week but it's not going to be one of my main games it's all really up to you what I enjoy comes into the equation but what you enjoy to watch is much it kind of overrules what I do the second one is Counter-Strike Source. Now, I've had this game for many, many, many years, and it's such a, such a fun game. Now, the search and destroying stuff, the bombing, defusing and stuff, that won't be good for commentaries and such, just because I've been waiting too long, and the rounds are going to be mostly campy and stuff like that. But games like Gun Game, Deathmatch, stuff like that, maybe a bit of Surf, you know, that'll be really, really good con uh, commentary content. So, if you want to go watch that, just post in the comments as well. Now, I've got Modern Warfare 
all for free on the PS3. But the thing is, I'm not very good on the sticks. For some reason, on Black Ops, I was really, really good. I was, like, pulling out 10 KD games everywhere. But just for some reason, I'm just not very good on the PS3 anymore. Now, I've got my Roxio, so I can capture on that. But only does 720p. But it really isn't the true 720p that I do on my videos. It's more like a 360p version, but it's really grainy and stuff. Still, I'd like to buy on the PC so I can do some commentaries on that and hopefully next month when my TGM pay packet comes in that should be around $30 depending on how many views I get on my channel and depending on how many views I get on Central and FPS and stuff but de depending I'll probably get some money and hopefully I could buy Modern Warfare for free on the PC but I know that's an oversaturated market but if you guys want to see just saying I can do some entertaining gameplays Riot Shield whatever, whatever you know it's all up to you now, TF2. This is one I've done a couple of times before and I've really, really enjoyed because TF2 is one of those games where it's not very hard to get a good score. If you're a heavy, if you're a rocket man, whatever, you can make entertaining gameplays without getting the best score. And even if you do get a good score, it's even more entertaining. It's such a great game and some some of my favourite commentators like Shibby2142, iPhone Star for Hire, they've just been starting out in um, TF2. Well, Shibby has and he's been doing that for ages, but other commentators have been doing that for a long, long time, and very much, TF2 is one market that not many people have tapped into, so maybe I can start a fan base with TF2, because that's such a fun game, I love being the Heavy, and the Rocket Man and the Medic, and everyone, it's just so much fun. Now, AVA, I've done a commentary about maybe once on this game, then I uninstalled it because it was just, you know, it was taking up hard drive space, and it was a bit lag and stuff, but you want me to go back to that, no problem, it's still a really entertaining game, you know, just the way it set out the gameplay and all of those shenanigans, it's just a really, really fun game. Now, also, FIFA 12, now, all of those have been shooters, but FIFA 12 is a sports game, and I play that a lot with my brother, so hopefully I can hook, um, hook not hawk, hook my Roxio capture card up to the PlayStation, maybe do a live commentary or two with my brother, because that, they've been really, really fun, like when we're on opposite teams, and we're scoring goals everywhere, going for long shots and tricks and stuff, they're really entertaining in my mind, and hopefully you guys will feel entertaining, if you want to go back a couple of videos, I think it's a Roxio capture card test, I'll put that in the description as well, and pretty much me and my brother just go with a commentary over FIFA 12, and it was pretty enjoyable. It was a couple months back, so my voice isn't at the quality it is now, not as enthusiastic, but it still gives you a good idea. So if you have any other games, make sure you post it in the description. I'll make sure to check it out because pretty much I just want to expand. And if I keep Combat Arms, it's just going to, you know, when Combat Arms dies, I'm just going to be, oh my god, where do I go? What games do I do? But if I start just slide, sliding and transitioning into these other games, when Combat Arms does die, I will be able to just go into these new games and be like, no problem. I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. I can do that. And all these games will be open for me so I can do them whenever I want and I won't be pressured just to make Commodore's videos. But other than that's Undercover Dudes or everything down, I don't. Out.